The Australian feedlot industry will be the first in the world to have its own antimicrobial stewardship framework to help guide judicious use of antimicrobials. Leading feedlot veterinarian Dr Kev Sullivan, who is leading a team of experts in developing the program for the industry, explains what it means for lot feeders. So antibiotic stewardship applies to the use of antibiotics and antimicrobials and other antibacterial uh, products like disinfectants um, so that their use will continue to work in the future without developing of antimicrobial resistance. This is important uh, so that these resources can be conserved into the future as the number of new products and new classes of uh, antibiotics coming on the market is getting uh, less and less. The Antimicrobial Stewardship Program is based on the five core principles of responsibility, review, reduce, replace and refine. Responsibility is about the feed yard recognising that um, antibiotic stewardship is important. Um, this means that not only just management, but everybody in the whole feed yard needs to be on board and understand what we're trying to do with antibiotic stewardship. Review means that uh, the team looks at the current practices that are happening at the, at the feedlot, the use of their antibiotics and why they're used, and then they sit down with their veterinarian uh, to figure out uh, areas where improvement can be put in place and then work together to set objectives on how to achieve those goals. The third R, reduce, is about reducing the use and the use of antibiotics wherever possible. And this may be making sure the diagnosis is correct, uh, that the animals that need antibiotics are actually given antibiotics and those that don't, don't receive them. But there are other things that can be done to reduce uh, antibiotic use. And this could be in preparation, vaccination, preparedness of the cattle for the feedlot, uh, good husbandry. The fourth R is replace. Where possible, we replace the use of antibiotics with products or procedures that, that don't require antibiotics to be used. The fifth R is refine, and this means that the products we use are given administered at the correct dose, the correct route of administration, the correct volume for the correct length of time. Data is then collected and the responses are also collected and analysed to see whether the treatment protocols are, are effective. If they're not, then it's time to go back and review what is done and uh, refine the process. Dr Sullivan said it was important for feedlots to make a plan, including setting objectives and reviewing results. An antibiotic stewardship plan sort of has, has two main uh, methods of looking at the data. The first is a, is a quantitative stuff. How much antibiotic have we used? Have we reduced the total amount of antibiotic or the total number of animals treated with antibiotic? Uh, the second one is qualitative. And this is how effective have our treatments been? What is the case fatality rate? Are we getting a better response from the antibiotic programs that have been put in place? The antimicrobial stewardship framework is designed to complement existing industry programs that encourage correct antibiotic use, such as the National Residue Survey, the National Feedlot Accreditation Scheme and export slaughter intervals and withholding periods set by the APVMA.